Hi, I'm Ben from San Remo, and today I'm going to be showing you how to maintain the X1. The first step to cleaning and maintaining the X1 is to turn it off, like so. Before we remove any parts, we're going to make sure that we have an Allen key, a brush, and a cloth. First, we remove the bypass chamber. Next, we're going to remove the hopper by sliding it forward until it clicks. Now it should be free. To clean the hoppers, we can remove the lid and we can use our cloth to clean inside here. To clean the dosing screw, we simply unscrew here and remove the screw itself. We can clean inside here and the screw. The X1's constantly empty grinding chamber means that we have very minimal retention. But if we want to access the burrs to give them a deep clean, first we must remove the screws on the side of the touch screen. We must next remove the touch screen. Once we remove the touch screen, we must access the burrs using these four screws. Once we have removed all four screws and stored them safely, we can remove the front burr, like so. To give it a quick clean, we can use a brush to brush the insides. Also, Once we are ready, we can replace the front there, like so, and align it with the holes of the screws. Now we've replaced the front there, we can add in our screws, like so. It's important when tightening the screws, follow a specific system, like so. Number one. Two, number three, and number four. What this does is allow equal tightness and distance between the burst sets. If you'd like more information on the X1, check out our other videos.